Two weeks ago, we covered the Ohio train derailment and found that even Democrats didn't believe the EPA that the water in East Palestine is safe to drink. And worse, they were watching the disaster just as closely as those of other political affiliations. At the time, I cynically said that the disaster would be horrible for Democrats over the long term, at least until some other bigger crisis came along. So here we sit, potentially on the cusp of another great financial collapse, but Rasmussen Reports still has some numbers about Ohio to get off our chests. And here are our numbers on how American likely voters rate Pete Buttigieg and his role in this crisis. The result, not that great, and a majority of voters want him to resign. Our first stop is his favorability numbers, and he has roughly the same numbers as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but lower unfavorable marks due to a somewhat higher not sure response. These numbers are actually a bit better than when we polled during his paternity leave in the fall of 2021, but that's likely at least somewhat driven by an overall general improvement of the Biden administration's public sentiment since then. But who rates him worst? Here are the demographics sorted by favorable minus unfavorable, showing both the top and the bottom of the list. Biden supporters, liberals, Democrats, youth, and high income earners top the list. And those who don't like Pete Buttigieg, I guess, aren't that much of a surprise. But look at the difference between how Republicans and those who strongly disapprove of Joe Biden rate him. Those two groups are not the same thing. Pete Buttigieg is the U.S. Secretary of Transportation. Is he a better or worse transportation secretary than most of those who held the job before him? 26% of voters say better and 41% say worse. 25% say he's about the same. Do these numbers reflect something special and unique about Pete Buttigieg? I don't think so. The numbers are incredibly similar to the marks voters gave Attorney General Merrick Garland in August, another relatively poorly rated Biden administration appointee. The most interesting thing in the internals of this question are the fact that only 38% of Democrats say he's a better Secretary of Transportation than his predecessors, though only 20% say worse. Should Buttigieg resign as a result of how the Transportation Department handled the recent train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio? 51% of voters, a majority, say yes, and only 36% say no. At least a plurality of gender, age, and even race think he should resign. But here are the party numbers. Republicans want him to resign, 68% to 21%. And independents also say yes by a 14-point margin. But look at Democrats. They defend him, but not even by a majority. Only 14 points less Democrats want him to resign as opposed to stay in office. But check out Biden approval numbers. This shows something really interesting. In many cases, those who strongly approve of Biden are the standouts. But recently, it's become those who strongly disapprove acting almost as a litmus test of conservatism. The difference between somewhat disapproves and strongly disapproves is especially stark. A plurality of the somewhat approves want Pete Buttigieg to stay in office, but 84% of those who strongly disapprove of Biden want him to resign. Do you think you know what's going on here? Tell me what you think in the YouTube comments, and please like the video, subscribe on YouTube or Rumble, and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.